today they made a big announcement of an event that's happening here that will blow the roof off the city. You want to know what it is? I will tell you in today's vlog. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day in the life of your boy, Randy Bizzle. I'm actually in my backyard getting some fresh air before I start the day. It is June 14th, 2017. And like I said, I just need some fresh air just to start the day. So let me just find a place to sit and we'll do a little talking to the camera. So the last couple of weeks have been about fitness. It's been around the World Series of Poker. I've been working a lot of hours. It's been about my daughter's graduation. It's been about my son's graduation. And there's one thing that I haven't done the last couple of weeks that I need to do. And it's the thing that I want to do because it's what I want to do for a living. And that is eBay. So today is Wednesday. And for those of you guys who watch the vlog know that Wednesday is $2 Saver Day. So I think today it's time to go old school, get in my car, head up to Savers, and do a little thrifting for my eBay business. Today's actually my day off from working out. So I'm going to rest the temple and then do some business eBay related. And see if I can find some deals over at Wonderful Savers. But first, let me just sit here and just chill out. And just breathe in the fresh air. And enjoy the quietness of where I live before I hit the chaos that is Savers. And the chaos that is my job. Ah. So let's head out. Here, but first, let's, hit, let's get one of these for the road. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, here I go. I made it to Savers. There it is, right there. Wednesday, two dollar tag day. Let's go inside and see if we can find some stuff for my eBay store. Make that money. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, it's been like uh, two weeks, two three weeks since I've been here. And hoping to find some deals. Last time I came here, I found some good stuff. So I always, always like coming to this location. It's over here on Rancho and Cheyenne. For those of you guys that are going to Vegas and want to go thrifting, come to the Savers. You may see me on a Wednesday morning I'm trying to find some deals. So let's go check it out. Ha! I should totally get this game right here. <laughs> Just at a general principle. Check that out. <laughs> uh, how much is this thing, anyways? Two ninety nine. Nah. Oh. Well. So there it is, guys. Four bags of stuff from Savers. 99% of this is two dollars only. Uh, a lot of bread and butter stuff. Nothing really major. There is one jacket. It's this this jacket right here. It's a members only jacket. This might be the score. I think I might get 50 for this. This pretty much might pay for the entire lot. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy. Back to the grind here of getting stuff for eBay. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so as you saw, four bags of stuff. And I didn't really spend that much. Let me see this thing up here. I spend. Uh, the, uh, the camera can pick this up here. $36.78. I saved. Look at that. Almost 100 bucks. <laughs> and pretty much everything I got here is for reselling. Um, like I said, that, that members only jacket, it's a wool jacket, very vintage. No holes, no flaws to it. It's probably the crown jewel of what I got. Uh, pretty much if I sell that jacket, it's going to pay for everything else. But everything, but the rest of the lot's going to be between 15 and 20 bucks. Maybe a little more, a little less. So yeah. Back into it, guys. 
the reselling game. Oh yeah. <laughs> did I go to work today? <laughs> of course I did. It's 7-11. I just got off work. Seven hours of work. So I got off, uh, didn't work the full eight, seven hours. So it's like working eight. And I just spent the last like uh, 15 minutes texting my wife back and forth about what we're going to have for dinner. Now let me tell you guys one thing about relationships, okay? Especially with the wife or husband or whatever. Me and my wife have this thing where if we're, if, if we, when we're trying to decide what we're having for dinner, like we never, we, we can't like ever decide like right away what we want. It's always like, I want this. She at first she asked me what I want, then I tell her what I want. And then 90% of the time she don't want what I want. And it's like, so what do you want? And she's like, I don't know what I want. What do you want? So you get the, that question back and forth. <laughs> It's kind of frustrating and then it always ends up with In-N-Out Burger. But we decided we're going to try this Mediterranean restaurant over by our house. Some big news came out of Vegas today. You guys probably know it. It's a pretty, it's a sports related thing. And this may, this event may blow the roof off this entire town. Because according to ESPN, me, August 26, and this is, they've been talking about this for days and probably a year. Conor McGregor of UFC fame is going to fight Floyd Mayweather <laughs> here in Vegas in a boxing match. Let that sink in. Let that sink in for a moment. Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather in a boxing match here in Vegas. Let me tell you guys one thing about that. Whatever the record uh, weekend was for any event, any fights, any concert was, times that number by 10. And that's what this, what this city is gonna make off that fight. This is the biggest thing to come to Vegas in a long, long time. This city is going to explode. And <laughs> it's going to freaking explode. Every celebrity, every person in the world, not just the United States, in the world, is going to be in Vegas for that fight. I can't believe it's happening. Um, I mean, it's on Mayweather's Instagram, and Conor McGurgis said it's going to happen. August... 26. It's gonna be an incredible sight, guys. When that if that event happens, it's gonna happen here in the T-Mobile Arena, I believe, which is our uh, stadium, our new arena. And this may generate the biggest income. This, like I said, it's gonna bring in so much money to this town. It's gonna be insane. And I'm actually excited. I'm not really a big boxing fan and not a really big uh, USC fan, but I'm a big Vegas fan. And anything that can bring money into this city, I'm all for it. So, yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped about this happening. And if it does happen, I don't know if I will, but I'm going to try being the center of it with this camera and show you what's happening in this city during that weekend. So remember guys, August 26, looks like it's happening, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Money Mayweather. Oh my God. So we ended up at this Mediterranean restaurant. Fast, fresh Mediterranean, homemade Greek food called Market Grill Cafe. Look 
Coco, I found. Oh, hello. Wow, that's nice out here, huh? Don't know why she picked it out. I was just telling my YouTube audience that uh, every time we can't decide what we'll eat, we always spend like 15 minutes or 20 minutes trying to decide what to eat. Right? <laughs> This is the hummus, so this is the hummus, three types of hummus, huh? This one has cilantro, you won't Cilantro, I probably would, yeah, right there, hummus with the pita, with the pita bread, let's see what we got here. Ooh, let's see what we can find here. Let's do a taste test on the, on the, on the, on the, on the hummus here. Mmm, I do like hummus. Ginger sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is roasted red pepper. I do like this atmosphere actually out of the patio. Love this atmosphere. Really, really nice. It's a nice night for a little Greek food action. So this is the Greek trio. I'm sorry I forgot what the names of this items were. I guess I should have looked at the menu. But yeah, this is what we're having, me and my wife. Not enough, it's not for just both of us, right, babe? Yeah. I guess I forgot the name of this, but it's good. Yeah, this, this is good. There you go. Mm. Good Greek food. So the grade for this place, this place is really, really good. I'm going to give it an... A scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it an 8. Good food, good service. I wasn't, wasn't really a big fan of the lemon cilantro on this. But it's good. I'll definitely come to the place again. Fresh market, no, fresh Greek market. Uh, so what more can I say today? The day is over. Vlog is being edited. Your boy Ronnie Bizzle is relaxing. And then tomorrow, we do it all over again. So, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, Ronnie Bizzle TV.